video of different floral. I guess this is not gonna be in the video. Stay down, woman. Perfect. Okay. What's up and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay and today I want to show you guys some different DIYs that are like to do with pressed flowers. I have one about plants. I have some hacks how to make stuff look cute with flowers. I don't know. So if you're interested in that type of thing then keep on watching. And now I know it's winter but I actually started filming this video in the summer so yeah. So I decided I just want to put it all together and show you guys now because it's nice to feel like summer in the winter. Anyway, so if you guys want to see all the DIYs, then stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it right now. Alright guys, so the first three DIYs involved pressed flowers. So I'm going to show you guys how to easily press flowers right now. So you can buy a bouquet of flowers, you can pick flowers from outside, you can really get them from anywhere, there's no restrictions, as long as they're fresh I guess. And then you're also going to need a book that's like pretty heavy, you don't want like a thin flimsy book, you want a book that like is substantial. So a hardcover book or something like that. And then you'll need some parchment paper, you can also use paper towel or a normal piece of paper, just something to protect your book from the flowers. Next, just cut your leaves or flowers into the size that you want. You can keep them whole, you can make them really small, whatever you want. So just put them to your desired size. I decided to cut the leaves a little bit to make them smaller so that they would fit on some of the things that I wanted to do with them. But you can do whatever you want. Then you're just going to take your parchment paper and lay it down. I did both sides of the book because I didn't want my book to get wrecked because they, the flowers could stain the book after being pressed in there for a while. So I just got my parchment paper put on both sides and put the leaves and flowers in between that. After you have laid them in the book with your parchment paper, then close the book and you're going to want to put it under something heavy so that it presses. Now honestly, I don't know how long you should press the flowers. The way I did it is I would just check it after a few days to see where they were at, if the flowers were dry, because some were dry, some weren't, so I kind of went by that. but. It didn't take more than a week for all of them and most of them were just a couple days so you don't need to like plan like three weeks ahead or something so that's pretty good just make sure it's under something pretty heavy so it really like squishes it out and dries it out pretty good you can honestly press any type of flowers here I like pulled apart a rose petal you can use tiny flowers tiny little weed things tiny little grass pieces anything you want really um, anything you think that would look cute for what you want to make it then you can press it the only thing is I did try to press flowers that were like full-size thick flowers and they never dried and they just looked weird because it was too thick so that's why I decided to like pull it apart and use just the petals so just make sure as long as your flower is not too thick you can do like any type of leaf or flower that you like and here you go here's all of the flowers and leaves that I pressed so I just wanted to show you guys the variety and now let's get on to our DIYs all right so this first one is one of my favorites so what you're gonna need is a frame that comes with two pieces of glass if you don't have that you can just find another frame that's the same size piece of glass as yours and use that but basically you're gonna need two pieces of glass then you're gonna take one out and you're going to use that to lay out your flower design however you like so this is how I did mine I tried to just squish the two glass pieces together and put in the frame but the flowers all fell down so I just used double-sided tape to secure them all in place so I really recommend doing that because you don't want your design to just like all fall down Once you have that, then you're just gonna put your design in. So put the first piece of glass down and then flip the one with your design on it so that the flowers are facing the right side, if that makes sense. Once that's in, just close up your frame and you are good to go and it looks so cute. Also, all of these videos that I'm showing you for the After Effect are literally six months later and you can see that the color is still there and everything. So that's really good. It's really important to make sure your flowers are fully pressed before you put them in anything. All right, let's check it out. Okay. 
Okay, so this next one is pretty similar. You're just gonna use frames again, but make sure that these frames have backings this time because you want the support. So I just got these three frames from the thrift store for $2 for total, so that was pretty good. So I decided to do, use all three for this design. So what you're gonna do this time is take your frame and then trace it out on a white piece of paper for as many frames that you have. I have three frames, so I did it three times. And then once you're done that, cut the rectangles out from the white pieces of paper. Now it's time to do your design. So again, just lay it out however you want, have fun with it, play with it. I changed mine around a few times. So just put out your flowers and leaves however you want to display them. Now it's time to put them in the frame. So I just laid the design with the paper on top of the frame and then put the glass right over it and then attached all the pieces. I think that's the best way to make it stay in place. For this one, I didn't need to use double-sided tape because the way that the frame was was really tight, so it held all of the flowers in place. Once your frames are all together, then you are good to go and you can hang them wherever you want. Alright, so this is the last pressed flower DIY, but for this one, pretty much same thing again. I just wanted to show you a smaller frame can also work and with different textures. So you can use different types of backgrounds, like you could use a velvet background. I use like this hemp kind of background because I had this. So you can use like all different types of textures instead of a white piece of paper. And that also looks really great. So same thing, just use your frame as a template to measure out your background piece and then pop it in, pop your leaf in or your flower in and then you are good to go. Alright, so this DIY is for all you guys that don't have time to press flowers, I get it. You can do this instead. So all you need is a frame and then some tape and any type of floral paper or fabric that you want. So any or any other type of design if you don't want to do floral. But I decided to do floral. So yeah. So just take your frame apart and then keep the back piece because that is what we're going to be wrapping with our material. So grab your material. I used this fabric I had left over from a different DIY because I really like this fabric, so I was like, I wanna use it again as much as possible. So what you're gonna do is cut the fabric out to size. You guys can figure that part out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once that's cut out, just pretty much wrap it like it's a flat present. However, what I did is I did cut off some of the extra material because it wasn't gonna fit in my frame if I didn't do that. So if you guys need to do that, no worries. Just do it. This is how I cut mine out. Do whatever you gotta do. But then once you're done, just finish wrapping it. I used two t pieces of tape for each side, just in case. It's probably a little overkill, but you know, whatever. And then you are all done. Alright guys, so lastly, I just wanted to show you some little hacks of how to make like flowers that you already have into cute things. So these ones, I actually accidentally had a bouquet of flowers and I left it for like a long time and the water started like getting really low. I don't know. And then I noticed it started drying and I know like dried flowers, like if you get dried flowers, they last for so long. So I was like, oh, can I make dried flowers myself? Like, is this possible? Every time I've tried it after, it's never worked. I don't know, this was a miracle. But anyway, so these flowers, the yellow ones, dried out. And now I've had them for like over a year and I just like put them in different things and it looks really good and especially with like the color of this room, it's yellow so I think that looks really good. And these were just other flowers that my roommate bought that were already dried and so she just stuck a few in with them. It looks good. This is another example. I just put it in this like, this like coffee container. I don't drink coffee but my boyfriend does and I thought this was a cute little thing. So yeah. So anyways, it's just in this coffee, it's like this color of glass, I just think is really cute. So I just put a few in there and those are in my room. And then another thing that is the easiest thing of life is this. So 
I literally went outside in the summer. I can't do it right now because it's winter, it's snowing, so but wherever you are, you might be able to do this. And since I live in the city, there's like a lot of weeds that kind of grow on the sidewalk sometimes. These are literally just like weeds that I picked out and they were kind of like, I don't know, they're just like a material that I thought they would last, like they wouldn't like be droopy and stuff. So they kind of like dried a little bit on their own and I just like literally took this and see, it's literally weeds, stuck it in, <laughs> these same thing. Also, I got like all of these jars that I have are from like either the thrift store or the dollar store, so you don't need to get too expensive. Or like that coffee thing that was like left over. And then this is like some other ones, another example, just dried out like flowery things. And yeah, I just think that that looks really cute. And like this is from the thrift store. And it's just easy to like put these little everywhere and all this stuff. And like I have a cat that eats everything. <laughs> she loves eating plants. She literally chewed on the fake Christmas tree. I don't know, don't ask me, but she, like, if she chews on the dried ones, it's not that big of a deal because they're already, like, dead, like, I don't know, they're just weeds, so it's fine, like, I can just get some more, you know what I mean? So, that's that, so that's one little last hack. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see some other DIYs coming up, then subscribe. I like to do, like, clothing DIYs and other decor DIYs, so, yes, come back if you're interested in that. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and Happy New Year 2019! It's going to be good! <gasps> Are you okay? How did none of the flowers fall? Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? See, she literally loves flowers so much she'll freaking die to get to them. Look at her! She just freaking wants to chew them! You're crazy! <laughs>